Yo, what is going on guys? Pineapple Sway here today. I'm bringing you guys my Mastery 600 plus build in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now, this build is only for um, Season 1, Episode 2, so the Two-Face themed season. I believe it's called Duality. Um, today we're showing off our build that basically has carried me to high Mastery levels and can seemingly carry you to Mastery 1000 if you have, you know, the determination to get there. Um, as you can see from the loadout, um, it looks pretty unorthodox because we're running, you know, uh, a tier 3 scarecrow weapon and then dr. poison's smg um, this is just strictly for the synergy and i'll get in depth to why we're running this more later or later in the video and also too you're going to see in this gameplay footage that i'm using harley quinn but this build can seemingly be used for anybody um, a big part of this build is obviously the the um, poison iv gear set um, that'll be a huge help, and then obviously we have Two Faces Persuader. It's just Two Faces Persuader, um, you know, because when we occasionally get the Shield Harvest drops, um, we'll get the grenades from the Bane Synergy. Um, so we're kind of just using, you know, stuff to help us get grenades, because you're gonna notice from gameplay we're rarely gonna use our firearms, because that's kind of the thing with this game. Although this game is firearm based. You don't really get to use them or really need them a whole lot because we're just going to rely on the Firefly Grenade. And to make matters even crazier, we're just using the Master 4 Firefly Grenade because um, that's just how broken this build is. And then the f I guess the finishing piece of this build is the Tier 2 um, Two-Phase Shield, which is the second set. Um, not the first or third, the second set, because every time an enemy burns for more than five seconds, they'll lose 10% of their max health. So when you combine that with the IV gear set, when they lose 25% of their max health, and then the Dr. Poison and Scarecrow um, synergy, it is a crazy combination of just chaos and destruction, which kind of just sums up this game perfectly and really the build and lastly as I've, I may have already mentioned this but we're using the Bane um, the tier 1 Bane piece just so we can get grenade drops off melees here's the talent tree um, I'm not gonna go through the talent tree but like what I said earlier this build is universal it works for anybody I know I'm using Harley Quinn in this video but it can work for Deadshot King Shark Boomerang Joker and any future characters that come out as long as you have the exact items that I'm running um, I'm pretty sure you have to run the assault rifles though for the other characters while Quinn runs LMG, SMG. Um, so yeah, one last look at the skill tree. And this is my talent tree. I know it's a bit sporadic, but it's just what I run. Um, especially with the way the build and how the game works for this upcoming season or this season specifically. Um, your talent tree is not going to really help. Now, and here are my favorite rotations. I like to go first for the Green Lantern mission, so Tribute Act. And then I like to do Sending in the Clowns. And then we move on to the other mission, which is the Incubator-based mission, which you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, which is Seaside Amusements. I couldn't get the name for a second. Now, in the other missions... You can do those as well, like the um, the Choking Hazard, which is the Incubator mission, and then Funny Pages, which is the other, like, Defend the, I don't even know what to call it, the <laughs> Terminat mission, and then there's also Tough Crowd. I would recommend avoiding Tough Crowd, but I'm going to get into that later in the video, and I'll explain my reasoning behind that. But first, first things first, we're going to be showing off this mission on Tribute Act, which is the Green Lantern infused mission. Basically, every single enemy is Green Lantern infused, and you're going to see why this build is just absolutely broken. And first things first, what we're going to want to do, um, obviously this is pre-recorded footage, so just thought I'd let you guys know that this isn't live. Um, first things first, what we're going to want to do is grab this Diablo Blaze um, facility, because it's going to burn every enemy, and it's going to be really, really just crucial to our build and to getting out the maximum damage output but what sucks about this mission is you gotta wait for these Green Lantern contracts to spawn and then you can break break them and then when they finally break you're basically able to go crazy and look at the top right corner it shows how many enemies are remaining and it's just gonna drop down very very quickly 
And this is Mastery 600, and I think it's 11, I think. I honestly can't remember. Um, it's it's high up there. Um, obviously, not Mastery 1000, but this is just kind of universal. It would be the exact same result on Mastery 1000. Um, as you can see, we almost finished the mission in less than 60 seconds. That just shows you how destructive this build can be. And basically what we're doing is with the combination of Scarecrow and Dr. Poison Synergy with poison ivy's um gear set instead of enemies losing 50 percent or excuse me instead of enemies losing 25 percent of their max health they end up losing 50 percent of their max health and then when you combine the burning um i guess the burn affliction and then the two-face gear set piece that we're running they're basically losing 60 percent of their health in about a matter of seconds and to put it in perspective, um, the enemies have a ton of health in this season. I don't know why. Um, it, they are just full of health. So we're kind of we're kind of just relying off um, gr strictly grenades and our special gear bonuses. Because as you guys noticed, I didn't even really fire my fire firearm or shoot my firearm. That sounded really funny to say. Um, but you know, we're n we're never gonna really use our firearm. Um, it's just not really needed for this season, which isn't, you know, a big problem, but I know with it being a big part of the game, with them using their firearms, not having to use it, it, it basically just makes firearms obsolete with the way the season's constructed because enemies have so much health. So, we're just strictly relying on Poison Ivy's gear set and then Dr. Poison gear set, or Synergy with Scarecrow, and that's kind of how the build is now and don't worry I'm going to show off three more missions or two more missions actually since I know the last time I posted a build a lot of you guys were saying um, how I was just doing one mission and I was doing the easiest mission of the batch because I'm trying to show that this isn't a fluke um, that the build is just actually this crazy and what's funny too is I'm not going to say that people are necessarily gatekeeping this but I haven't really seen a lot of videos this season showing this build which I kind of get because obviously this game isn't the most popular. But, you know, I thought I would at least upload showing off the build. But now in terms of rotations, um, avoid tough crowd at all cost. And you can do choking hazard and you can do funny pages. But I like to just do send in the clowns and then seaside amusement and move on to tribute act. That's just what I like to do. Um, it's very quick, and I've noticed too, sometimes the missions will only give you two mastery levels when you complete it, but for some reason, Tribute Act and Seaside Amusements gives you three, so it, it's quicker, it's a lot quicker and faster, so if, like, if you're like me, you're trying to climb up the masteries as fast as possible, um, it's just the best case scenario, um, and then another thing too is, with this build, I know, like, from, from, I guess, a, uh, what's the best way to put it? From a gameplay perspective, it looks very, like, weird, because, um, we're obviously running this, the, the season, you know, the theme of this season is Scarecrow, or not Scarecrow, that was last season, it's Two-Face, excuse me, and we're running Scarecrow gear, and old gear from Season Zero, so, we're not even really using Two-Face gear. The only Two-Face gear we're using is our melee, which was from Season 0, and then for our shield, so we can get that 10%. But now we're doing Killing the Clowns, or Killing the Clowns, uh, Sin in the Clowns. Um, and um, you'll notice right here, we do the exact same thing on this mission. We get the Diablo Blaze facility, and this wasn't my best run. Normally, I can do this mission in about a minute. This took the... Took took about a minute 30 seconds two minutes so not the best but you know you guys get the idea I mean finishing mastery 600 plus missions in under two minutes is still insane and if you guys may have seen my other video about how I was able to de defeat Brainiac on mastery 200 plus um, we're not using the exact build we were obviously running something different for that but um, Currently, we're just using, like what I said, grenades. As you can tell from the gameplay, we're really not even shooting our gun. The only time I'm really shooting my gun is just to apply poison on them. 
and as you can see we're meleeing so I can get grenades and just we're just constantly throwing grenades constantly spamming grenades and relying off the Diablo Blaze facility like what I said it looks very crazy in terms of gameplay but it's just kind of what works this season and as I mentioned time and time again um, this build works for any character it doesn't matter I know like what I said I'm using Quinn but it can work for any character you just need to run the exact same items I'm running to get the success now are there other means to get the mastery level 1000 yeah probably but this is what I have found to get there the quickest now I'm not gonna take um, I'm not gonna say I found this I'm not saying that this is my build just showcasing a build for people who may be stuck or confused for the season and want to move up the ranks in terms of mastery since I know it can be very confusing since I know for this season specifically guns just don't do any damage and then I hope next season that's a lot different um, I hope that next season guns actually do damage because it would probably help the game since you know obviously we know Miss Freeze is going to be the character next season um, I don't know if grenades are still going to be OP because the only thing that's really worked um, from season 0 to season 1 episode 1 to season 1 episode 2 has just been grenades grenades are the only thing that seems to really work and obviously I, m I remember a lot of people used to run stack deck stack deck is still really good but it's just with the enemies having so much health it's kind of pointless this season and as you can see right there we completed it in about a minute and 40 seconds like what I said not my best run I've completed it in a minute before sometimes even less than a minute and now we're gonna do seaside amusements this will be the last mission we do just to showcase off this build and yeah I know I'm not doing master level 1000 but I'm just kinda not dedicated enough to grind all the way up to a thousand and you're gonna get the same results you're gonna get the same results on mastery level one as you would on mastery level 1000 this build is just kinda that good it doesn't change anything it doesn't really it's just as long as you have the items that I've mentioned as I've mentioned um, you'll go crazy now we're gonna do this one last mission on mastery 616 which is just kinda crazy to even think about that we're even doing missions as high so now like I said pre-recorded um, I was able to complete this mission I think in my fastest time ever I think I completed it in like two minutes or something something nuts um, we had very good luck in terms of enemy spawns and same thing as always when you're starting these missions you gotta look for the Diablo Blaze facility and pick it up because that's gonna be a big help of killing the enemies very very quickly and the reason why I pick that one up is because once you make it into the area it'll despawn so it's just nice to pick it up although you only have it for about 30 seconds that's those 30 seconds of killing enemies super fast are extremely crucial and the reason why I like seaside amusements is because you get bonus points for killing afflicted enemies and every enemy we're going to be killing is gonna be afflicted so kind of benefits the build and it's best of both worlds because if you're like me when you're doing these missions you want to save time and it is the perfect mission to really save time right here though I was using my firearm I'm not exactly sure why but as you can see first round is basically over in about 20 seconds um you know that was super super quick and really didn't have to do anything I don't even think we, I think we threw one grenade. It's just the Diablo Blaze facility is just really doing all of the damage and all of the work for this build. And as you can see, same thing. We're just kind of flying around. Now I will say though, um, the only time we really do use our firearm is to shoot the constructs, but sometimes you can get lucky and your grenade, because of the firefly grenade, because it's radius, You'll get, you'll get lucky and the firefly grenade will blow up the constructs but most of the time you have to rely on your firearm to shoot down the constructs but 
obviously not a problem because the health on the constructs doesn't scale. So, as you can see, second round down just like that. And now we're moving on to the third and final round of this mission. And we're just going to spam grenades because why not? Um, let's see, we're just throwing grenades and just like that, the mission is over. It was very quickly, very fast, and now we're just gonna hike it out of here and make an escape for the exit portal. So that basically showcases the build. Um, obviously today we we're doing Mastery 600, and like what I said, um, it doesn't matter if you're doing Mastery 1, Mastery 1000, you're gonna be doing the same exact damage, and you'll get the same exact result. So this is, I'm not gonna say probably, I'm gonna say this is definitely the best build for Season 1, Episode 2. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I probably should have uploaded this a lot sooner since Season 2 comes out in like two weeks, or at least we think it comes out in two weeks, we really don't know. Um, so yeah, this is the build, hope you guys enjoyed it, this is Pineapple Sway, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps me out tremendously, and um, I'm going to showcase the build one last time so you guys can see it, so feel free to look at it, feel free to pause, like what I said though, it's Pineapple Sway, peace out.